In this video we're going to be taking a look at editorial workflows in Drupal 8. We're going to install the workflow module and the content moderation module. We're going to activate a workflow for a content type and we're going to show a use case which is going to be a junior editor role that is able to create just drafts and a admin that is supposed to review and publish the changes of the junior editors. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and let's jump to extent. Those two modules are coming from core so we just search for workflows there we go and for content moderation there we go and we click on install and as we have those two modules installed if we just jump to configuration and at the very bottom there is a workflow and if we just edit the editorial workflow we see that here we could simply activate the workflow for let's say content type. Let's say that we want to activate it just for the article content type. So we say save and basically it has three states and they are draft, published and archived which are super popular states and we're just going to use them. Let's go ahead and save now and as we just saved this piece of configuration and as we go to the content editing a article would look a bit different because now here at the bottom we would have change to and we would have the different states here before it was either published, checked or published unchecked but now we have the change to and we have the current state. There we go. That's perfect. So basically we can now change for example a article to a certain state but that's not too much of a use in general. What would be great is actually if we had a junior editor role and if we wanted the junior editor role to be able to create draft revisions of the content and when the admin or the senior editor comes he will decide if he wants to publish or not the changes that the junior editor did. So let's quickly go ahead and implement exactly this scenario. In order to do that we'll go to people and roles and we're going to create a row that is called junior editor there we go and for the junior editor row we're going to edit the permissions this is really neat because here we see just the permissions for the junior editor and what we want for the junior editor for the comments we don't actually care we could allow him to editorial workflow use basically new draft for our articles and use restore to draft no, he don't needs that. View, view any unpublished content. And let's go ahead and allow him also to, for the media, let's go ahead and say that he's pretty much allowed to do all the things with the media even though maybe we could fine-tune it a bit later but 
let's say the junior editor could do all those things and for the note he would be able to create new content and no he would not be able to delete but let's say he would be able to edit any article and edit own content revert revisions no and view revisions well let's see he would be able to view revisions and access content overview page and view revisions, view published content, view own unpublished content and also administer teams no but use administration pages and help and view the administration team that's important and for the toolbar there we go so let's go ahead and save permissions so we have a junior editor row with the permissions let's go ahead and now create a user we would call him editor jr like junior editor username so editor jr at drupal up dot com editor jr password editor jr that's good enough we would have the junior editor row here and we're saving that's perfect so in order to test it now let's go ahead and copy the URL of our page and let's open it in Firefox so in Firefox let's go ahead and log in with the editor JR editor J JR and password editor JR and login don't save doesn't matter well we don't need structure in these things here but let's go ahead and have a look at the content and what is important now is that we see the article and we could edit articles like we see our article with some body and some stuff but basically we're not able to do anything else than creating drafts so that's perfect because our junior editors are not able to delete anything as you see they can't delete they can just edit and they can just basically create drafts which are not the published versions of the articles so let's go ahead and say that we want to add some additional interesting text additional <laughs> let's go ahead and create a revision saying adding additional interesting text and if we just save the draft that's cool but if we open the page if we open the article that we just edited we see that our additional interesting text is not here and that is exactly how we want it to work currently so it's not here but if we jump to Google Chrome where we are logged in as admins if we just go to the content page and if we have a look at the article and 
if we now have a look at the revisions we see that the current revision is the last revision that was added by the admin but afterwards there was one revision more and this is the revision that we just created with our junior editor and if we have a look at that revision we pretty much see that here we have the additional interesting text and if we say we like this and we want to publish it because as we saw currently it's not published we have here this nice workflow that we could simply say publishing junior editors extra text and to hit apply and this way this is the current version we just published it so if we now go to revisions we see that now we just kind of reviewed and we saw that we like the text that the junior editor added and we just published it and the current active version now is the change that was added by the junior editor as a draft and that was later reviewed and published by the admin. And that is one popular way of using workflows and content moderation in Drupal 8. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe and thanks for watching.